Hello friends, this is me, medicated and unbothered. Also postpartum body, three months. I have to say, I feel like I'm doing really well um, with like just how I feel, not so much how I look, but I was in so much pain when I was pregnant and like getting closer to the end because I don't know if you guys know, but I don't know if you'll be able to see my back, the scar on my back or not from this angle. Probably not, but if you can see it, that big scar on my back, I broke my back in a car accident when I was 15. I've had multiple back surgeries. So when I gain weight, it, the, it just kills my back. Being pregnant is very painful for me. So I'm feeling a lot better even though I gained, I mean, you can tell. I'm gonna put in a picture if I can find one of what I looked like before I got pregnant because I'll give you kind of an idea of what my body looks like normally, <laughs> what I look like now. I am embracing my postpartum body. Even if you're not postpartum and you maybe are just like not as confident with your body or the way that you look, try to change your mindset about it. And I know it can be really hard because like we've kind of like trained our brain to feel like we're not good enough or we're not confident enough or like we're too fat to wear a bathing suit to the beach this summer or to the pool. And I'm here to tell you ladies, take that idea out of your brain and throw it away because you are beautiful the way that you are. God made you perfect and you are amazing and you deserve to feel amazing no matter what shape or size you are. So just wanted to put that out there for you. Uh, anyway, with that being said, it's nighttime. We are leaving tomorrow and I need to pack. Both the kids are asleep. I'll actually show you um, right now. My, this is what my room currently looks like. This is the bag that I still haven't unpacked from my mom's house when we traveled, so I need to unpack and repack. And then over here is my little angel. Oh, he just fell asleep. Look how cute he is. Oh, some people might freak out about having him in the bed, but I'm like in here the whole time with him. And if you're wondering why this blanket is here, it's because I was giving him diaper free time without a waterproof thing underneath and he peed, so. <laughs> there's that also I don't know if you guys have seen this sticker yet but one of our subscribers made it for us and I love it so cool okay let's get packing I originally turned the camera on because I wanted to for one show you what I'm packing for our trip two, tell you where we're going and three I had to share these with you because I just posted this on my Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram go follow me we are talking about cloth pads also i feel like we need to like embrace this right like <laughs> all women's bodies are different shapes and sizes and i feel like we just need to be like showing that you know um most girls like that are just like super skinny would feel comfortable being like this but i want to break that norm cloth pads if you've never heard of this before you're probably gonna think like that's so disgusting and gross but i'm sure you've heard of menstrual cups right like the um, little plastic cups that you like fold up you put inside you and it collects your period blood and then you take it out you pour the blood out you rinse it out those are awesome i tried to use those in the past but i have endometriosis and those were really painful for me to have in i heard about cloth pads i was like yeah that's disgusting not happening <laughs> but then i was like you know what i'm gonna try it so i did and now it's all i used and i was getting ready to pack this up because i don't know if i'm gonna start my period or not while i'm on this trip and i wanted to make sure i have this how it works is um actually there's a little blood on this one because it wasn't washed but um well there's blood on this one too i mean i don't know is youtube gonna be weird if i show like dried blood on something all right let me put in a disclaimer here <laughs> fast forward like two minutes if you get grossed out by like blood or talking about this kind of stuff um so because i want to actually show you what it looks like if some of it gets stained to me it's not gross like doesn't really it doesn't bother me but it might bother you so just fast forward if it does so cloth pads this is how they work super easy also i'm gonna leave a link down below these ones are like the super cheap ones that you can get on amazon you can get like better quality ones that are like more expensive that are better quality and i don't know i'm i wish i would have done that i wish i would have invested in better quality ones but if you can't afford those just get these ones um, they're very inexpensive and again, I'll link them down below. I think it's like eight dollars like a set of seven that even comes with like a wet bag So this is what they look like you can get all different types of like prints and colors and stuff um, 
and like I said this one has like a little bit of blood on it but um, you know if you don't like wash them like super well you can see like it's a little bit stained here but it's really not but they come in like all these cute little like prints and stuff see these snaps on the side what you do is you put it this is the side that goes against your vagina and then you like snap it around your underwear like that I feel like the focus sucks right now but like it snaps around like that and it's just like a pad it's just a reusable one so why are these awesome like why would you opt for cloth pads opposed to disposable ones for one you're gonna save so much money if you get cloth pads because you buy these once and then you don't have to buy period products anymore two they're horrible for the environment like horrible 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 we only have one planet like we need to protect mother earth <laughs> she is our only home and we don't get another one so um if you have babies or kids like think about them and the type of like world that they're going to grow up and it's going to be very different than the way we grew up if like we don't get our act together so very passionate about eco-friendly things um how they work is well i showed you how you put them on and then once they soak up also these um you can get them in different like um you can get like small, medium, large, you know what I mean? Like the thinner ones, like panty liners or like thicker absorbency ones. Um, so look at that when you're buying them, but I don't have like a super heavy flow. So these are the kind that I get. Um, and then there's some that are a little bit thicker, but for like when on my heaviest days, but what you do is you put them on when you feel like they're full, um, you take it off or you want to change it, take it off. And then you just stick it like this in your wet bag. And you just carry this in your purse it folds up like into nothing and then um i carry like a few of these in my purse and they're folded up like you can um take one like this and you can this is how you fold them you put this side here that side there take the little snap here and here and then snap it together it folds down into this and then i throw it in my purse some people think that's gross but like i all i have to do is um like this part doesn't touch like my private parts you know what i mean this is the inside and it stays clean because it's totally covered so um you can take another wet bag and put them all folded up like this into your wet bag and like put that in your purse and then have a separate wet bag for the dirty ones like whatever you feel most comfortable some of them they tell you to like rinse with cold water and like squeeze it out and then put it in your wet bag but I never do that because I just don't really care. Um, it's not like it gets gross and I just put them in with my regular laundry. I wash them with my regular laundry. You don't have to worry about the blood getting on your, I mean, I wouldn't put it in with whites, but like I just put it in with colors and it's been totally fine. Um, and then you can either like hang dry them, you know, like with the little clips. Um, I have like a little thing or you can just throw them in the dryer, whatever you want. So that's how they work. They're amazing. I feel like this could have been like a whole cloth pad review, but that's not what this video is. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about these because I think they're so cool. I would really um, love if you tried them because, and I don't care what brand you get. Um, this is not like sponsored. I just feel like it's good for the environment and I want more of us to be using reusable products. So I wanted to share that with you and I love them. They're so awesome. So now I'm going to pack my suitcase and then when it's done being packed, I'll um, show you what I pack for the trip for me and um, also what I'm bringing for the kids. But what I did was I just made notes um, for like Friday, Saturday, Sunday and like what I wanted to bring so that it's easier for me just to like grab what I need. And then um, I do the same thing with like food. Like when we pack food, I'll put like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then do what we're doing for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then snacks. Like that way it's easy for me to pack everything. So like for instance, this is like my note list for packing for me and then some of the kids stuff I need at the bottom. But yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I feel like we need to see baby snore one more time because he's so stinking cute. So this little bag, there's 11, I think 11 cloth pads that I was able to jam into this little bag. So I'm gonna be definitely putting this uh, and packing this in. Oh, I have another one here. I didn't even realize. Oh, this is not for cloth pads. This is for cloth nursing pads. So I also have those. Um, and then here's another one with, uh, I'm pretty sure cloth nursing pads. Let me check. Yeah, these are all 
These are my cloth nursing pads. This is so pretty. So one of you guys actually sent these to me and I love them and I use them every day. Um, look how pretty these prints are. I don't know where these ones are from, uh, unfortunately, but I'll link down um, some inexpensive ones of these also. Look how fun their little bags are. And then I think um, those are also cloth pads that I have, so I'm, glad I'm covered. Um, I have all of these. These are just like the really inexpensive ones. Like I said, I'll link them down below in case any of you guys want to get them, but now I need to go through my suitcase. You guys, how cute is this? Um, one of our subscribers sent like matching shirts and like outfits for all of us. We really need to get a picture. In fact, we should probably bring these on the trip so we could take a picture. These are from the Dodger game. Um, we brought them back for snow to play with. They served like food and stuff in there. Um, okay, these are cloth wipes, which I don't think we're gonna bring on this trip because we're gonna be in the motor home. Here are more of my nursing pads. Um, this I actually might bring because that's clean. Definitely want to bring my pump just in case. I love this color. This is also a wet bag. So just like the cloth pads, this wet bag works for um, cloth diapers also. This is a Grovio one. And I have like some of my Hakka things um, in here. Also these things I would not recommend. Either I'm using them wrong or they just do not work very well. Um, I've tried them. I don't like them. Uh, I love the regular, like original Hakka, but these ones don't get those. Um, okay, this is my pump bra. Here's my pump. I'm gonna kind of like organize all this. A mess in here. Neither one of my kids like pacifiers, <laughs> um, but we have them and we bring them just in case. Snow likes to use them as like a toy. She's like pacifier. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm kind of just cleaning, cleaning all this stuff out. I I packed storm stuff like in this little bag because this stuff's so little and it's easy for me to like keep track of stuff. So I'll have to go through that and make sure it's all clean and stuff that I want and then my friend Christine Diamore was so sweet she sent me like this whole like honest package like care package and so I saved the box because it's like perfect to fit all my um nursing stuff in here oh, come on I'm trying to do this with one hand Trying to talk quiet because I don't want to wake up storm. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Alright, what else do we need? We need some baggies for milk. I hate pumping. I really um dislike it. And so do they make reusable milk bags i guess not because um most of the time these are like frozen or stored i don't know what's this like is there like a more eco-friendly way of getting bags i don't um need them i have tons of bags left over from snow so i'm just reusing what i had from her but um i'm curious if they have something like not as wasteful that's like still sanitary you know um okay is that all my pumping stuff? Oh no, I need the cord. Alright, I think that's good. I use like stuff like this in my suitcase because it helps me kind of organize things. I don't know what this is. Literally have no idea what this is or how it even ended up in my suitcase. Probably something from my mom's house. A necklace. Um, so I don't think we're not taking cloth diapers in the RV because it's too hard to clean 
them in the RV. Cloth pads is like way easier to clean, but cloth diapers is too difficult to do. So at least like where we're gonna be because it's like um, off grid. Oh my God. I just realized I haven't even told you where we're going. <laughs> we are packing for our camping trip. We are going camping in the RV for the first time to a place called Thornhill Broom and it's in Malibu, um, like Malibu Beach. It's a one place, I believe in California, that you can actually camp on the beach and like have bonfires and stuff. Um, and we're going there for Father's Day. And also something very exciting is that my dad and Lori are bringing their motor home and we got campsites right next to each other. And then Uncle Jason and Aunt Britt, my sister, and my brother-in-law are also coming and they're staying in our motor home. Um, okay, so one thing that I wanted to show you, and I'm really bummed because I just realized there's a stain all over this. I got a nursing cover. Um, I rarely use this um, because I think they're annoying and obnoxious, and I feel like we should be able to nurse wherever we want, but there are times that I don't want to make other people feel uncomfortable. Um, and there are only a couple, few people, and even sometimes I don't care, but like my dad, for instance, is very old school, and I remember him making a comment to me one time, saying like, I went to Disneyland, and these girls just like pulled their boob out and were nursing their babies, like, in public. And um, that's kind of how I, I grew up, like with a parent like that, um, who would just like make comments like that, and it made me feel like, you know, I'm supposed to cover up, and, you know it's um anyway <laughs> and it's so funny because my dad is like the most like he makes like so many like sex jokes and like i don't know he's like so cool you know like my dad's so cool and laid back but like i don't know why anyway make long story short he doesn't care if i nurse in front of, in front of him but like if the other day I was at his house and I was nursing he was like oh and I didn't have a cover on and he was like oh sorry I didn't know you were nursing you know like he he made me feel like kind of weird about it so anyway that's why I'm bringing this camping just in case I need it um or feel like I want it I I had used one in the past and I hated them um like with snow and so I never used it and I ended up donating it but my brother was also coming and I was nursing and I didn't the last time I nursed snow like I would go up to my room and be by myself um, and it was like just felt really isolating like when I was nursing snow when I had like family around and stuff and so um, Now I'm obviously a lot more comfortable around my family nursing and I don't care as much and I'm like medicated and unbothered <laughs> um, It's so funny my friend Erin uh, She had posted something really funny the other day about like being medicated and unbothered and I text her I'm like we need to make shirts Because um, we're both on Zoloft and it's like been life-changing for us and our anxiety and we just don't care anymore about like what people think <laughs> about us, you know? Um, anyway, so I ended up buying this one cause it had really good reviews and uh, I was like, I'm probably not gonna like it, but I'm gonna try it anyways. I love this cover. It's so lightweight, it's so breathable. It doesn't feel like I have like a sheet over my baby when I'm trying to nurse him. And so um, this one is from BB, Olay or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. It looks French to me, but I'm gonna leave a link down below if I can remember if for some reason I forget to do this, please like spam me with the comments to tell me because I, I really want you guys to have these links for stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna bring this even though it's like stained and dirty and I don't have time to wash it. It's coming with me. Um, okay, now I need to go through this. Again, I'm like going through things that I love this. I love this color too. This is so soft. So this is from Solly Baby. I would highly recommend. They have a wrap, which I love. It's the only wrap I have. Um, I just ordered a sling wrap from a company on uh, Amazon. I can't remember the name, but this is super soft. And I love their um, gowns. I didn't think I would use these, but I used them a lot when he was a baby. This is zero to three months. I don't know if I could probably still squeeze them into this, but I don't know. I'm probably not gonna bring that. So this is like thick. This is organic cotton. Um, 
I'm packing because I said it was gonna be 69 degrees. I'm packing for it to be hot <laughs> and I'm also packing for it to be really cold because it's gonna get cold at night and then sometimes at the beach the weather can change and it could be super hot or super cold and I want my kids and all of this to be comfortable. So I'm going to um, bring this probably, this little outfit for him, how cute these little avocados. My friend Chantel, when I lived in Folsom, got me this. Not my sister Chantel, but my friend Chantel. Um, and she's such a fashionista. I wish she lived closer so she could dress our whole family. <laughs> but anyway, she got this and um, we love this. We She got it for snow actually and I saved it and I'm gonna use it for Storm and whatever other kids we end up having in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in here. The motorhome actually has like drawers and stuff and so I feel like I'm probably going to um, like take put everything in a bag and then unpack it in the motorhome and just have it like in drawers and hung up so I can see everything and it'll be easier that way but I'm gonna put it in here for now um, okay also definitely going to bring this this I got from Target again I'll try to link as many things as I can below in case anybody um, wants a link and I love this look at this color it's so great for nursing and just really comfortable to put underneath as like a bra I'm kind of going all over the place because I'm was packing for storm because I was going through his thing okay so I'll probably bring um I don't have to bring freaking socks though that's the thing for him like if I bring this little outfit I don't know if you guys notice but I always dress my kids for comfort not so much like being cute unless it's like a holiday or something if you guys do this but I always will check him to make sure he's breathing still <laughs> always like look over is he still breathing um okay so I'm gonna bring that normally when the kids are in cloth diapers um we have to put them in clothes that are way bigger for them because the cloth diapers are so bulky but because we're gonna be doing disposable diapers on our RV trip um, I can put them in things like this and this is super stretchy and it's so cute. So this will be a little like um, outfit for him if it's hot and I plan on wearing him a lot so uh, yeah. Okay so for him what I was saying is I don't want to pack like little outfits even though this is like a cozy outfit. If I pack this it's like one, two, three things and I have to bring socks um, and it's just like a lot so I prefer to put them in like the like one zippered onesie so um, I'm actually gonna take you into his room because I don't have that in here so oh here's another one of the little things that our friend Chantel got I think this one is yeah this one's zero to three months this is like a little banana one how cute I'll pack this one too so he has both of those I might bring this for myself because I like to put this around my head It helps keep all my little baby hairs at bay. I look like a full hippie with this on. <laughs> but it helps, like I said, keep my hair, and especially at the beach, it's gonna be so like, you know your hair gets all frizzy and crazy at the beach? Mine does at least. Okay. Let's go to Storm's room. We gotta get him some clothes. Um, got some stuff ready here. So these are the, I'm gonna turn this air filter on so you can hear me better. Um, these are the towels I'm bringing, like bath towels I'm bringing for the kids. I love these. Um, they're like these like muslin, 
they're soft and cozy. Um, here are some like really warm outfits for like at night or um, you know early in the morning or if it's really cold and then I have this little hat and then this one because I don't know which one's gonna fit him or what's gonna be I feel like I don't need to bring so many of these let me pick this one looks kind of big so maybe I'll just do maybe I'll just bring these two I'm gonna bring these two, and then we have those bath towels, one for each of them. Then I need to get into the closet. Alright, these I love. I'm talking quiet because both the kids are asleep, so I'm definitely gonna bring this. These are from Old Navy, and these are all from when Snow was a baby so stretchy and comfy. Um, also gonna bring these three long sleeve ones for him. And that should be like plenty of clothes for him because we're not gonna be gone that long. Um, and then I won't need to bring any like footy things such like I don't know I just feel like oh we should bring sunglasses for him how cute yeah I don't think we need anything else I know mm. okay so cute and then I should probably bring some like These are my favorite for like washing, like in the washcloth, these like muslin fabrics I love. Um, they're like all little spit up rags. This will kind of match everything. Yeah. Okay. Just bring one hat and that'll work for every outfit. Um, I wonder if I should bring a swim diaper. I don't think I'm going to be putting him in the ocean water. It's too dirty. Uh, but I'll bring this. And this for like spit up and stuff like that. Okay, that should be good for storm as far as like closed stuff. Okay, I turned the lights on low because I don't want to wake up storm. <clears throat> but I totally overpacked, <laughs> like way, way overpacked. But we have room in the motorhome and I want to be able to be comfortable. Um, so here are some of the things that I ended up packing. This is just like for myself. And then I have my toiletry bag, my makeup, my tripod, a big jacket for when it gets cold, pajamas, like a trucker hat, a beanie, a little head scarf, socks, a skirt, um, long sleeve, leggings, um, that's just bra and underwears, and then my nursing pads and my cloth pads nursing cover, pump, um, and then over here I packed storm stuff because I'm just going to throw it in the motorhome like that. Uh, again, overpacked, but I just want to make sure we have everything we need. And then I have this hat for like the sun, a onesie in case I get like in a fun mood and want to do a story time in the motorhome in my onesie. <laughs> um, and then this dress and uh, this dress which both are from the thrift store and I love them and yeah uh, I can't pack for snow right now because she's sleeping in her room but it is late now and I'm gonna brush my teeth wash my face and get some sleep so it's 10 30 I don't normally go to bed till like midnight or one in the morning but um yeah 
it's, look how hot it is, 80 degrees right now at our house. Um, thank God for AC. So yeah, I'll obviously still have to pack my computer, my chargers, and all that, but for the most part, I'm packed. I'll pack snow tomorrow, and then we have to do all the food stuff, so. So yeah, I am going to call it a night. It's a super long, chatty, pack with me video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys tune in for the next few vlogs of our adventure, because I'll be vlogging all of it. So thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.